if you good if you don't mind being recorded your cameras can stay on and then let me make sure I got it. all right good deal so uh, my name is Rich Tomasini I've been in real estate for 23 years I live in Charlotte North Carolina and uh, my better looking uh, co-host is Tom Hawker and we are going to unpack EXP for you guys hopefully in 37 and a half minutes we're going to try to cover most of what we offer as this brokerage. Uh, we're going to cover who we are, what our business model is, our EXP virtual world, which as you guys has been coined the metaverse. We've been doing it since 2009. Don't tell Mark that. EXP solutions and then how to join if this is interesting to you and the person that invited you uh, uh, is a business partner that you want to grow with. So we do a lot of that here on this phone call. Um, the way that I explain, I'll give you a real quick 20 second resume. Um, I ran the second biggest team for Remax in the state of North Carolina. I was a, an appraiser for the first seven years of my life. Um, I sold a thousand homes in a very small town in Mooresville, North Carolina. We came over in 2017 with my team of three agents. Um, I was able to uh, uh, up my production, up our stock because we get stock at this company and then expand my team from three agents to 2046 agents as of this morning. So I'm kind of using all of the, you know, if we were uh, Native Americans and we got a buffalo, we used every part of it. I use every part of this model. So we're going to kind of just break it down for you in the priorities that most of us look at, which is how do we sell real estate here? What are our functions? What are our, what are our, is our technology stock? What does that look like? Um, we're going to do all of that in lane one. So this is sort of like a three lane highway. Lane one, we're going to cover our healthcare, our tools, our lead generation, our referral networks, uh, the mediums in which we do our business, the virtual platform, our systems, our sky slope, all of the things that are real estate. <laughs> On lane two, which is a lane that your current brokerage or your own brokerage probably does not have, uh, we are all shareholders of this company. So Glenn Sanford, our founder, takes 50% of the gross revenue, not the profit, the top number. He takes 50% of the gross revenue and he recycles it back to us through stock and lane three revenue share. But in the stock, we earn stock five separate ways for doing what we've all been doing for uh, our entire careers selling real estate. So we're going to break down lane two. And then lastly, we're going to spend the least amount of time on how to expand your team throughout the 20 countries that we're in. And we're opening up 10 more countries this year. So how to grow an empire, sort of how to be an independent brokerage within a powered a uh, uh, brokerage of EXP, which I look as like a big technology stack that we just plug into and don't have to do all of the stuff that drive us crazy, like have tons of liability, support, education, um, all of the iterated uh, technology uh, pieces that we have in this company. We didn't, we didn't have to do any of that. We just plugged into EXP and expanded our brokerages. We kept our autonomy. We kept our feel. We chose the people that we wanted to work with. That's Lane three. So I'm going to cover lane one, Tom's going to cover lane two and lane three. So by the time you guys see Tom's face, I'll have exhausted you. All right. So let's get right into it. The founder of EXP is this guy on the right hand side, Glenn Sanford. Uh, in 2002, he got uh, into real estate from a background of startups and uh, being a stockbroker uh, by year four. So 2006, this is very, very primitive times in the real estate world. If you remember back, I got licensed in uh, 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 just before he did in 2002. Within his four years at being at Keller Williams, he had his team doing $60 million of business by directly uh, connecting the cu customers online using SEO, using all of his tech prowess. He was able to build and launch. And because he was out there extracting his own business, he felt like there was a disproportionate value set. Oh, the screen's not showing. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Sorry. Let me resume share. Yep. Disable YouTube and enable your presentation screen. All right. Thank you. So let's get into this. Okay. Is that better? Yes. Okay. We are good Guys. now. Okay. Good deal. So anyway, so Glenn um, felt like, you know what, we're going out there. We're working nights. We're working weekends. We're hustling. We're armchair therapists. We're locksmith. We're we're doing everything for the client, which most of us top producers know. I am not uh, uh, genetically gray haired in my forties. This is just years of being a top producer. So why is there no real bilateral relationship? I'm going and giving all this money to the mothership. So in 2009, he said, "Forget it. We're going to change the way this business is operated, the way that agents are compensated, and the way that we do business. We're going to create a cloud-based brokerage called EXP Realty." So he opened that up in 2009. 
and we got right at it. In 2010, because we're virtual and we're not brick and mortar, not to say that we're against it, we have tons of brick and mortar stores, but that's the eighth choice. Because we're virtual, if you had an internet connection, we could open up in an MLS and grow. So we did. We opened up 11 states. In 2011, Swamp Pole recognized EXP as uh, they're on the radar. In 2012, Glenn was recognized as one of the top 100 most influential people in real estate three years into this idea. I mean, at 2012, it's almost uh, not even a full brokerage as much as a vision. In 2013, we uh, bought another uh, publicly traded company and backed EXP right into it and became a publicly traded company. So we were on the pink sheets. And at that very point, every single real estate agent that was with EXP, so it was probably like 50 or 60 agents, became shareholders. And then every new agent joining EXP uh, for our in perpetuity will become a shareholder at this company. This is our company. Glenn has the minority amounts of shares at this company. The agents own uh, EXP. So our stock ticker is EXPI if you want to check it out. In 2014, we launched in Canada. So now we were in North America. By 2015, we had about 500 agents, which is great. We had an, uh, an entirely built out infrastructure. We had all the systems in place. We were open in probably 25, 30 states, but we weren't getting the top names. And if you don't get the top names, you don't grow in this company. We needed transactions. We needed production. So Glenn incentivized top agents by implementing two uh, alterations to the model. One, he launched the agent equity program, which means that every single EXP agent, whether you're doing one transaction or one, one every five hours, has the ability to take 5% of their commission and buy the stock at a 10% discount. That is a super good nest egg for us real estate agents, which have a hard time saving through the ebbs and flows of this business, right? And then the second part is that we wanted uh, top producers and brokerage owners and team leaders. So they created this thing called the Icon Agent Award where you could actually hit a milestone in your sales and get all of the commissions that you paid out that year gifted back to you through the medium of stock. And guess what? It worked. In 2015, we went from 500 agents to 2016, 1,500 agents. We tripled our agent count. In 2018, a lot of things happened. First of all, we were on the NASDAQ uh, uh, because we actually got traded, uh, upgraded to being traded on the NASDAQ. So we were in Times Square ringing the bell. EXP hit 10,000 agents, which uh, was the fastest uh, um, record from zero to 10,000 ever performed in the real estate industry. And then uh, Glenn won the Inman uh, Innovator Award uh, winner for broker owner, which is uh, the highest honor you can have in this business. So let's go to 2019, 20, and 21, right? Our slides are a little dated because we're growing exponentially. So as all of this progress happened, Let's look at the agent count. So in 2018, we're hanging out right around 10,000 agents, right? So get us to 2018. That's uh, uh, we surpassed 10,000 agents by the 2019. We're at 15,000 agents. But guess what? We double again. 2020, we're just under 30,000 agents. COVID happens. Everybody sees the fog. Doors are closing. People are not using brick and mortar. We never relied on that anyway. Guess what? We double again. So we're over 40,000 agents at the end of 2020. 2022, we're at 81,000 agents. No real estate company has ever seen the explosive growth that we have because we don't treat our realtors as tenants. We treat them as owners. It's an entirely different paradigm switch. So when you look at the core values of this company, there's a few things that are happening here that have never happened in other brokerages. First of all, service, right? Not only are we doing a lot of things within our community, respectively, as a company and as individual people, but on the other side of that coin, our customer service is incredible. We have almost 2,000 employees servicing 81,000 agents, pretty much 40 agents to one paid employee. I have eight state brokers in North Carolina. We have 24 seven support. We go into the world and we get real time answers on everything. We're gonna show you what that looks. Sustainability, you know, how do companies like Walmart compete with Amazon? They can't, if they're gonna give away the same good deal that Amazon does, they are not able to shed their expenses to where it doesn't cause them to go out of business, right? We have zero debt at this company, over a hundred million dollars in the bank. This company is as sustainable as you can imagine. It was entirely built and we're operating off like a 7.3 or 7.9% margin. This company is so lean that during the worst recessions you can imagine, our bills are the skinniest, right? Collaboration. Every office that I ever worked at, somebody, you know, as soon as I decided to go in that office, I'm, I'm dropped in 
to the middle of a pond of people that I did not choose to work with that asked me questions all day that are competing against me yet still asking me for answers and learning from me, right? Seems sort of crazy, but we just all accepted that as, okay, well, I guess that's what happens, right? Not the case, right? It's not very collaborative because the initial, you know, Darwinism kicks in and you're like, listen, I can't teach every secret that I have to the people that are selling in the same market. Well, in the EXP world, it's awesome. We are geographically the largest real estate company in the United States. We collaborate across 20 countries. I, in San Diego, they're not worried about what I'm doing here in Lake Norman, North Carolina, right? We are in the world teaching between 50 and 100 hours of collaboration. We are using our own medium called Workplace, which is created by Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook. So the interface is exactly the same. And we're collaborating with referrals, with information, with support, with answers. We're building relationships across imaginary lines that we used to consider territories. Not the case anymore. Transparency. If you want to see the health of your company, good luck. Just go ask the owner and listen to whatever narrative they tell you. Here, because we're you know monitored by the FTC and the SEC, all of our transparency is all listed through the NASDAQ. You can see our quarterlies, which just continue to shatter records. You can see every single thing about this company up to how many shares of stock the, the, the Glenn Sanford himself has sold recently. Everything is public knowledge. There's just no secrets. We can't afford it at the, at the way that we're trading, right? In the medium that we're trading. Integrity, do the right thing. We don't hire everybody and not everybody stays at EXP. Okay, so one of the, thing, the most important things is that this is a grassroots grown company. We don't have any human resources to, to be filling out applications and doing all that stuff. We don't have any paid recruiters. We don't have any of that stuff, right? We simply have one relationship to another relationship explaining the model on some kind of uh, forum like this and people joining EXP and becoming shareholders. And that person that influences you most to join EXP, that's your sponsor. You guys do life together throughout your career. Right, but if you're a new agent, we can assign you a mentor. If you love teaching, we have this thing called mentor uh, mentorship here, where you can go through the certification, and then you get 10% of the first three gross commissions of the people that are assigned underneath you. We really, you know, have all the black belts and white belts and everything in between in in very strategic structuring. Innovation. We're gonna blow your shorts off in this video about how we've been operating since 2009. It might be almost too much for you to di digest in 2022. Imagine this was happening in 2009. So let's table that for a second. Agile, we don't have, there's no internal memo. Glenn goes on workplace, we have EXP announcements. Things can change like this. We're a virtual real estate company. It's very, very simple to be mobile, to, 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 to be agile, to be able to be malleable with the market. Fun, um, well, I will tell you an unfun story. The British guys uh, destroyed us in a soccer game on the virtual world, so that was no fun. But the fact that we could play soccer virtually with avatars was bizarre. And then the last thing is, you know, we really want to um, uh, have a good company. We're an entirely green company. Um, I have a, we have all these printers in our offices and all this stuff. These are paperweights. They're boat anchors. Everything is off a scanner, and uh, we upload everything in the EXP. We're a paperless company. Pretty sick. So let's get right into an overview of what's happening, right? This shouldn't be that much of a, of a culture shock, right? Nobody's going to Blockbuster anymore. Nobody's going to Circuit City. If you're single, you're not going to bars to meet people. You're on Match.com or whatever the other myriad of websites are, right? We're not calling Yellow Cab to be in a stinky old cab, you know, in a backseat with no air conditioning. We're using Uber and Lyft. We're not going to see our travel agents. We're getting things on Expedia. And we're watching things on YouTube. And we're doing online banking. And we're doing online everything, right? The Amazon truck on my street pretty much is there for 14 hours a day. It's unbelievable, right? So we are doing every single other part of our lives with the, the, the knowing that technology has disrupted everything that we do. But why are traditional real estate brokerages still got a kung fu grip on, on having a brick and mortar and trying to get you to promote their brand, get you to sell and create a better asset for them? Well, it's because that's the way it's always been done and no one's disrupted it. Most real estate brokerages, and if you're an independent brokerage owner, don't be offended. We have a solution. We were actually built for you. And then solo agents and mega teams started coming over here, right? But what we know what your pain points are. So you have costly overhead. If you, if you made the decision to go spend a quarter million dollars or half a million dollars on a franchise, you got that. 
You got desk fees, you got people scrolling on Facebook, you got employees, you had a building that was empty for two years, you have the inability to move out of your territory because you could be stepping on someone else's toes, you have limited technology, you have all of these different things. You have agents that want to brand themselves that you have to keep confined and in a small birdcage. You know, you have inconsistent growth incentives. You have one person that's out there recruiting agents versus letting the agents organically bring the people that are the right people for the company and then actually sharing uh, some revenue incentives for them. And then you also have limited technology and support. You're always going to be losing to whoever's got deeper pockets, right? I try not to get into lawsuits and I certainly don't want to get into lawsuits with people that are far richer than I am, right? So the EXP model disrupts all of that. We have a cloud campus, no desk fees work from anywhere. You could have your toes in the sand in Maui and have 2,000 people at your beck and call to help support you. You have a scanner on your phone. You have your virtual world. You have your EXP app. You have your Sky Slope. You have all of the stuff that you need, and you are working remotely. You don't even need a pen and paper, okay? We have live training, 50 to 100 hours of live training every single week. The schedule goes into your email on Sunday night. And if you forgot that, because we're realtors and most, a lot of us are I's and D's, so we're not detail oriented, you just go right into the virtual world, you look back and there's a huge screen that shows you the course material for that day. We have, again, real-time support. Once we got into Australia, into the UK, and all these other countries, Hong Kong, you know, there was no uh, Eastern Seaboard time anymore. So we're around the clock. International collaboration. So part of my real estate team, which used to be only guys that had a, a North Carolina driver's license, right? even more specifically, lived in Lake Norman. I've got 300 of my organization in the UK right now. right? We have, I have agents in 13 countries. You have to stop thinking small. right? The one relationship will lead to another relationship, and geography has nothing to do with that. We can open up places or we're already open in there, and those relationships can continue on. So you can expand your network, your organization, and there's an actual a very good financial um, uh, structure for those of you that are interested in that. And then lastly, powerful equity opportunities. So at EXP, if you iconed at EXP 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, I sold real estate. All I have is seven, eight trophies from that. I was the top agent at the top team at every single real estate company that I ever worked for. And I got a trophy and a pat on the head. And then I got asked to teach classes for free. Okay, fine. That was all that was within my awareness, right? But that was all stripping me from income producing activities. The powerful equity opportunity here allows you to build stock. So I could take those seven trophies and be happy about that. Or I could look back and see what I would have gotten at EXP if I would have icon for those seven years. And that is uh, when I calculated at $17 a share, uh, it's about $740,000 of uh, stock that I would have earned instead of seven trophies. Is that insane? So imagine when I think about the math of the last 23 years that I've been licensed, it's, it's unbelievable, but I'm happy that I've been here since 2017 and I got a lot of gas in the tank. So we're going to, we're going to become shareholders and bigger and bigger each year. So cloud campus environment, we kind of touched on what that uh, is. Uh, the education and the real-time support and the international collaboration. So I want to get right into how the stock works, okay? So at this point, Tom's going to jump in, and we're going to go back and forth because our slides are, have a little bit of different healthcare in there. But Tom, if you can hit this one screen, we're going to move from lane one, just basic overview of lane one, to how you earn stock at this company because we just let off on that. And then we're going to go back into the infrastructure of the tools in a more granular level with level one. And then lastly, for the 2% of you guys on this call will talk about expansion on lane three. So it's all yours, Tom. Okay, can you hear me fine, Rich? Okay. If we were with any other company right now, this presentation would be over, but we're with eXp, and we basically just showed you one-third of our model. What Rich did was he explained the three lanes that we have. He gave you a little background on the company, and he explained lane one, which is our commission, our platform. If our platform does not stack up to yours right now at this point, hold on, because I'm going to show you two more lanes that are going to bypass what you are currently doing and show you the future and how you can create a retirement and a passive income stream. All right. So here is what we have. We're hopping out of lane one and we're going right into lane two. Lane two is our equity opportunities, the stock awards that we have. We receive stocks, stock in this company in five different ways. <clears throat> 
four of them are gifted to you. And a fifth way is a buy-in program, but you buy it in at a discount. So here's how this works. When you come over to eXp and you start doing business like you've always been doing, on your first transaction, eXp recognize that and they give you $200 worth of stock. $200 just having your first transaction, which is pretty nice. In the past, what did I get? I've got certificates. I've gotten trophies. I've been taken to dinner and things like that. Nothing that ever really produced anything that I cared about. Now I am getting stock in a publicly traded company that's the fastest growing real estate company in history. When I come here and I cap at this company, when everybody comes over here, we all are equal. There is no backdoor negotiations. Everybody comes over at an 80-20 split. When I come over at an 80-20 split and I hit $16,000 to the company, at that point, I go to 100% commission. At that point, EXP is also going to recognize that as, a, as me as a fully cap person, agent, and they're going to give me another $200 worth of stock. $400 worth of stock. I don't think so. But um, it's $400 worth of stock at that point. And guess what? When I bring over an agent and they have their first transaction and they close it, they get their $200 worth of stock. EXP is going to recognize me as the person that brought that, per that agent over and sponsored them and supported them. And not only is that first agent going to get $200 worth of stock for having their first transaction, but I'm going to get $400 worth of stock for sponsoring them and supporting them. Those are three ways to get stock in this company. But hold on, that's gifted to you. There's one more way to get gifted stock. It's the Icon Agent Award. When you come over at an 80-20 split and cap at $16,000 to the company, if you do another 20 transactions, and let me clarify, a transaction is not just a sale. It's a lease, a sale, a sale, or a referral. When you do 20 more of those transactions after capping, EXP is going to recognize you as an Icon Agent, and they are literally going to give you the $16,000 you paid in at an 80-20 split. They're going to give it back to you in a form of stock. So think about that. You paid in $16,000 on an 80 20 split. You went to 100%. You did another 20 transactions and you got that $16,000 worth of stock. At this point, guys, with all the other stock that you've been gifted, you're basically working at over 100% commission split. It's amazing. It's a model that we've never seen before because it's never been done. Because in the past, it's been brick and mortars, too much overhead. EXP was able to do away with all that and recycle all this money back to the agents. And this is just one other way that they're doing it. Now, the fifth and final way we could receive stock in this company is the agent equity program. This is not a gifted stock, but it's a buy-in. You could take 5% of your commission and advise EXP to purchase stock with that. But unlike you doing it, EXP is going to do it for you. And they're going to buy it for you at a 10% discount. So you're going to have 10% equity in that stock as soon as you receive it. All right. Now think, listen, one thing, guys, I want to mention. The first four gifted ways that you get stock, there is a three-year vesting period. And it's perpetual. So whenever you receive that stock that's gifted to you, three years later, it's vested. And you can take it. The agent equity program, the fifth way is the way where you can take that stock. There is no vesting period at all. And it's totally up to you whether you want to partake in that program or not. You can take the full set commission that's due to you, or you can use it and get 5% um, stock at a 10% discount. That's completely up to you. So that there is our lane two, our equity opportunities. And now I'm going to hit you with lane three. Lane three is our off-ramp. Lane three is our revenue share. Hold on one sec. Okay, this is, this is kind of hard to, to follow. This is our revenue share chart, but, but the concept is brilliant. When, when we bring people over to this company, we are going to get a little referral fee off of them, all right? And as I mentioned, this in our three-lane highway, this is the right-hand lane. This is where the off-ramp is to your career. This is how we are going to get a passive or, or monthly residual income to sustain us for the rest of our lives. And folks, this is willable, all right? God forbid something happens to one of us. As long as one of our, our, our wives, our spouses, our kids get their real estate license within a year, this will be willable to them and they can keep it going. And this is how it works. When Rich brought me to this company back in October of 2017, I recognized quickly that he was making a little bit of referral off of my production. Every time I had a sale, he made a little bit of money. Well, I loved it for him, but I didn't like it for me because I wanted to be part of it. So what did I do? I went out and I started attracting agents to this company. 
And the first person I brought over was Corey Parsons in Johnson City, Tennessee. Now, if you don't know Johnson City, Tennessee, and from where I am, it's about two and a half hours away. Because remember, this is not a franchise. I am not geographically confined to the Lake Norman or just north of Charlotte area. I can go anywhere where there's EXP and attract agents to this company. All right. And right now I have 13 different states. I'm not as big as rich and two other countries besides the United States. So this is fantastic. So now I can reach out to anybody I want. So I went out and I brought Corey, Corey Parsons over. Corey had his first transaction. And just to make things easy, I'm going to say it was a $10,000 commission. Out of Corey's $10,000, he comes over on an 80-20 split, right? Just like all of us do. Out of his 20% that goes to EXP, EXP recycles 3.5% of the $10,000, which is $350. They recycle that back to me the very next month, all right? $10,000 commission, 80-20 split. Corey gets $8,000. EXP gets two. Corey is paid in full. Out of EXP's $2,000, they give me $350, 3.5% of that gross commission. I thought that was fantastic. I didn't do anything except for bring a good agent over to EXP. And guess what? I kept receiving 3.5% of the gross commission off of Corey's production until I earned $2,800. Well, why $2,800? Because at $2,800 to me, that means that Corey just graduated from an 80-20 split. He capped and went to 100% commission. And remember, because the money is paid out VXP's portion, if Corey's on 100% commission, there's no money left for EXP. So there's no more money to give me. So I kept earning 3.5% up to $2,800 off Corey for that year. I loved it. But guess what? I didn't only just bring over Corey. I brought Lance Woodley over in Columbia, South Carolina. And I brought over other people too. And I had the same thing happen over and over again. I got 3.5% of all their commissions till they all capped. And I got $2,800 off of them. But they saw the same thing that I saw when Rich brought me over. And they wanted the same opportunity. So they did it too. They started attracting agents. They got the 3.5%. But guess what? Those agents are now my tier two. And as you can see, the same thing happens on tier two through tier seven with two distinct differences. The first is I'm not the one attra attracting the agents, right? My level ones are attracting them on a tier two. My tier two people are attracting tier threes. So I am not the one doing all the heavy lifting. Other agents are doing that for me. I am supporting them, but yet I am still getting paid. The second distinct difference is the amount I get paid. I get paid up to 3.5% on the gross commission on my people that I personally bring over, but on tier two, I get 3.8%. I get more. And then as you can see, it goes 2.4, 1.4, 0.9, 2.0, and 4.5%. We're getting different percentages on different tiers. And as you can see, that tier seven is, the, is, is where it all happens, 4.5%, all right? That is the most money you can make. But listen, guys, EXP is not stupid either. We have to qualify bring over qualifying agents, and we have to unlock each tier. And how we do that is anybody that I personally bring over, I will make that 3.5% off of them. But to unlock the money on tier two, I have to have at least five personal people that I brought to this company. To unlock the money on tier three, I have to have 10 people. Tier four is 15, if you're looking at the right-hand column. Tier five is 20 people. Tier six is 25. And if I could bring 40 people over to this company over the course of my career, this is not per year, but it's over the course of my career, it unlocks this whole algorithm and all the money. If I bring over four people and I have somebody on tier two, well, I don't get that money because as you see, I have to have five people to unlock the money on tier two. So what happens? EXP keeps that money. And that's how it becomes sustainable, how EXP keeps this a sustainable model, all right? Because not everybody is opening, unlocking every level. So for example, right now, I have 11 people with this company that I personally brought over. And as you can see from this chart, that unlocks three tiers of money. However, I have 43 people on my tier four. I'm missing out on that money on tier four. All that money is going back to EXP. So what does that do? I am now more incentivized than ever to bring over four more people and to get 15 total on my frontline qualifying agents so I can unlock that money on tier four rather than having it go back to EXP. 
So I know I'm hitting you with a lot of stuff. It's very difficult to understand this chart if you're seeing it for the first time. But when we are done, we, we are going to answer any questions that you guys have. And, um, and now I'm going to kick it right back to Rich. And if you guys uh, just pay attention a little bit longer, he'll wrap it up for us. So one of the things that's important to understand is that if you had your own independent brokerage, you got to mute. If you had your own independent brokerage, you'd have milestones of where do I have to get my business at in order to break through to the next level. So that's how EXP does. If you have an agent that comes over, they have to do one $5,000 commission every six months in order to qualify as an agent that unlocks another level. Now you're going to get paid this left column on every single agent that comes into your organization, whether you unlock it or not. But in order to get this added uh, percentage here, you have to unlock it. So I have 42 agents that are qualifying agents and I have 2,046 agents total, I think is what the number is, right? So I get the full 4% on tier two and the full 5% on tier seven. But if I only had one agent, I would get 3.5% on that one agent and I would get this expansion share on all the rest of the agents. So it's a pretty interesting concept. Uh, I don't want to spend any more time on this because I know it appeals to a small group of people. The average EXP agent brings over one person a year, which uh, really sums up nicely with the math because we've been doubling an agent count every year. Uh, but for the for the people that really, really kind of dig on how to scale their teams, mega teams, uh, want to have uh, multiple states that they sell in, we have one a national cap, so you could sell in Florida, California, Washington State, Tennessee, North Carolina, all toward one sixteen thousand dollar cap. If you're a married couple or a domestic partnership and you live in the same house, you share that cap, so you don't have to get hit twice just because you guys are in love and doing business together, right? So that is a little bit of lane three on how this works. Let's get into the most important part, which is where we're going to spend the bulk of the time. How do I sell real estate here and this, what does it look like? So our virtual world looks like this, right? We have a, we have a campus that you just load on your MacBook. Uh, we have apps on our cell phone and you go into the campus and you get support this way. So I go right up to the front. I see Joshua sitting up there and I say, Hey Joshua, I have a question on one of my commissions. Where do I go? He goes, well, Rich, you go into accounting or, or payment processing. Right, so I hit go to on the top left box and I get teleported like Star Trek. And I'm right there talking to a live person that lives somewhere far from me and their avatar is dressed like them. My avatar has got gray hair and is dressed like me, right? Actually dressed better than me. We have specialized departments. I wanna go talk to all my state brokers. They have an entire state map. I click on the state which uh, I'm in or the state in which I need to talk to a broker in, could be different. And they're lined up and I pull a ticket. They bring me to a soundproof room and we have a, a real time frank discussion on whatever I need. I wanna to go to my sales meeting, but I don't wanna go drive 20 minutes, listen to 16 vendors, drink motor oil coffee and eat two donuts that I wish I didn't eat, but I had no self control. Instead, I'm driving to a listing appointment, I'm on Bluetooth and I'm listening to my North Carolina state meeting. I want to have a collaboration meeting with all 2,040 plus agents. I don't have to get on an airplane and spend the next nine months shaking hands and kissing babies. We just go right into the team collaboration rooms and have all 2,000 people there, right? All of our major events we can do virtual. We're not the only ones using this. So we have Stanford University, which are teaching all their college kids, which are uh, more of a visual on the right side of this. We have the Department of Defense that you know safeguards America from threats using this uh, uh, post COVID. We have tons of other Forbes companies using our technology called Virabella, which we own. It's part of the stock, all there for us to interact on the cloud. They have an entire video that explains that, but I don't want to take the time to, to show you that. Another component for real estate agents that we've never had before is a healthcare option. Right? We know that a third of realtors are uninsured any given year and that being uninsured and having skyrocketing medical bills is the leading cause of bankruptcy. So we got a third of people that are exposed to bankruptcy just because they love selling houses, but there's, it's not a W-2 job, right? I mean, it's just, this is a 1099, you know, you're running through a sole proprietor or an S corp or an LLC and you got to pay through the nose on insurance, right? I was at Blue Cross Blue Shield. I was paying over 1500 bucks a month for a family of four. I came over to EXP two and a half years ago when we launched our insurance in, uh, I think it was January of 2020. And my insurance dropped down to 855 a month. My household deductible is 12,500. So it kind of has like a catastrophic insurance part of it. And then in addition to that, all my doctors stayed the same, which was our first concern. So our deductibles went up or down five bucks, I can't tell you. But for the most part, our insurance, our total payout in 2019 
uh, was uh, $31,000 in medical bills. In 2020, also having COVID, all four of us, right? Our entire output was $16,000 out of pocket. So it's really, really cool how uh, this health insurance works for us. Um, let's also talk about solutions. So if you're gonna be in a virtual platform, you need to have everything at your fingertips, right? So we have a thing called the EXP Enterprise. It's sort of like a dashboard for your business. And you could click on all the things that you utilize to promote your business. So let's go through them individually. We have Skyslope, which is our transaction management. This gives you 24 seven cyber protection. Everything um, uh, is uh, virtual. There's no paper to be printed. You upload your listing contracts, your zip forms connect right to it. It provides all your digital signatures. If you have something that's missing, you just go right in there and send it straight through Skyslope, get the initials, get the signature, and then re-upload it back in there so you can get paid. EXP has brokers that review every file and those brokers have assistance as well. So if you're missing something, they will actually show you that you're on a green light, which means you're going straight to getting a commission to a red light, there's something missing. And we all know if you've been doing this long enough, it's a lot easier to get things signed that you missed before you closed than after, right? So all of that stuff is monitored. As soon as you have a green light across the board, they send your commission straight to the paralegal without you having to do that. And then when you close in a lot of states, it's instantaneously, they will get you paid that day. It wires right into your account. You see what your commission is gonna be two days before closing. I mean, it's just really refreshing when you've been waiting for eight or nine months on a commission check on a big commercial deal or a luxury deal, and then you don't wanna wait a week to chase the money down. It's all very, very fluid. We also have a thing called Workplace by Facebook, which we'll unpack. We'll show you what our branding and marketing looks like and then our lead generation. So let's get into it. So this enterprise is sort of your one-stop shop. This is what it looks like. On your dashboard, you actually have a tab called finance, right? Imagine having a dash called finance. It shows you what your stock portfolio is. It shows you what your organization's doing. If you decided to bring anybody over, a lot of people brought over one or two agents that they liked uh, or were related to uh, or wanted to work with and never were able to because they live so far away. And sometimes one of those people will bring over 200 people. This will track all of it for you. So you don't even need a bookkeeper when it comes to what the pulse of your business is doing from transactions, from stock, or from revenue share. We also have a profile, which I highly encourage you to fill out because we have 80,000 agents giving referrals to other shareholders. So if you have a very dynamic profile and it looks like you've been doing this for a long time and you really took the time on there, you're likely to get in-house referrals through other EXP agents nonstop, right? You can hit your contact support. You can hit your agent directory to see who's working where. Uh, all of that stuff is available for you. Also on our sky slope, um, again, this is also, there's no extra charges to this stuff. We'll get over the fees here at the end, but you can review your transactions from any device. Your digital signatures are ready to go. And then you also have a security uh, layer that you don't have in a lot of other uh, offices there. Let's talk about probably my favorite thing at eXp, um, eXp workplace by Facebook. So you know, I don't like Facebook, but it's a huge, huge component of our of my business, right? So it's a love-hate relationship, right? I don't like learning new things in my mid-40s. I, I, when I came over here, I was 40. I didn't want to learn anything new, right? Uh, thank God I had Skyslope at my other firm, so that was an easy transition for me. Workplace by Facebook, there is no learning curve. It's designed exactly like Facebook because it was created by them. So the interface is exactly the same way. So instead of having Facebook Messenger, it's just called Work Chat. And instead of having FaceTime, we have a video conference uh, a component in there as well. All the logos are the same, the icons are the same, the feeds the same, the comments are the same, the groups are the same. It's identical, it just doesn't have a marketplace, right? So it's really cool. You can join the city that you're in or the state that you're in and start doing open houses for other agents. Like EXP agents are a real collaborative group. So if you're brand new and you wanna sit in an open house that's gonna sell that day, and you want to generate buyers, you can say, hey, listen, why don't you go out and enjoy your Saturday off? I'll handle everything and go out there and cultivate buyers. Or if you have a question on, hey, listen, I'm thinking about doing geo farming or marketing. Anybody have, has anyone ever done this before? Or does anybody have a digital listing presentation? We're constantly having these type of conversations as we go through our careers and you're having it with other EXP agents. So it's really a cool setup. We are number three in the United States for transactions. So we have agents that are doing five, 600 deals a year in here, opening up their entire um, magic box of how they're doing things. 
So another thing that's very cool is that like at two in the morning, if you're writing a deal, which has happened to all of us, if you do this long enough, you know your state broker is sleeping, right? So you just go into workplace and you type in a question and you see 20, 30, 100 people, depends on what the question is and what topics you're on, um, all answer in the comments section. So you're always able to get a survey of the way different people approach the business, which I don't feel like that library exists when you're in these little bubbles. Let's talk about lead generation because in this business, you're really one of two things. You're a hobbyist that loves selling real estate or you're a lead generator that just crushes the market, right? So we understand that lead generation is probably one of the most important things for agents. And then at some point, a contact manager becomes the longstanding business builder for you. We have a contact manager and a lead generation all together called KV Core. If you're not with EXP, you can still get it. It costs between six and eight hundred bucks a month, and it's fifteen hundred dollars to get it started, and it's insane. At EXP, it's included in our in our program, and we have the highest level uh, program at KV Core. So imagine being able to create unlimited squeeze pages, landing pages, where you can have VA buyers, first time home buyers, second home time buyers, VRBO buyers. Uh, multi-unit investors. Um, you could have a website just for the house that you, a squeeze page just for the house that you listed, right? You have your own website that you build out through eXp that's provided for free in this software. And then you have a contact manager that is able to use AI and actually trap contact information and drip on them. So if you put a squeeze page in for a killer new listing that you have that you know is gonna sell in four minutes, you put it on Facebook and you put Facebook money against it or Google ads against it, all the traffic that gets clicked on there, those names will go into your contact manager and you never meet them, but you already have all your custom text messages and drips or bomb bomb videos or anything that you want dripping into them. So pretty much when the pilot gets up and stretches their legs, the plane doesn't crash in the ocean. This allows your business to operate when you sleep, when you rest, when you work with clients, when you play with your kids, when you take some mental health days off, right? I mean, this is constantly operating your business. If you are not running with a lead generation system and a contact manager, you are really playing in the wild west. And I'm not saying that you can't be successful. I'm just saying you're not as successful as you could be. So at eXp, right, the one thing independent brokerage owners did not want to forfeit was their autonomy. Why would you want to lose your autonomy when it took you all this time to, to get your brand set up, to get your colors, to get your logo? I mean, we are very, very sober to the reality that the people hire the agent, not the company necessarily, right? So if you have your own stuff, all you do is dr drag, click and drag, and put all your own stuff in, in the bottom, powered by EXP. Very simple. I had a team called the Lake Crew. We were doing $43 million a year when we came over to eXp in 2017, which is not that big of a number in this kind of healthy market, right? But it says powered by eXp small and then the Lake Crew TLC, nice and big with our own logo, right? If you don't have your logo, it looks a lot like what you're seeing in front of you. You get a thousand business cards when you sign up at eXp. We've got 5,000 different pieces of marketing materials, cups, coffee cups, hats, door hangers, um, uh, letterhead, every, every, everything you can imagine. I mean, we have an endless rabbit hole of marketing that's been created by graphic designers to where everything is plug and play, all the way up to your social media, post memes, everything that you can imagine already pre-set up. All of our signs, uh, everything else you can order. We have affiliate companies that we have been doing business with for years that have discounted cost. Everything lands at your doorstep. So our marketing and branding is insane luxury, uh, typical residential, commercial, the whole gamut is already pre-made. I mean, it's as e if you're using Canva or any of those other things, it's, it's easier than even using that, right? So let's get right into what our commission splits are because that's pretty much the elephant in the room. We gotta figure out, well, this sounds interesting to me. What's it cost me? So we have some of the most aggressive uh, uh, compensation patterns there are. Not only can you get compensated in lane one, which I'm about to cover on this very short slide, but you also get the five ways you earn stock and you also get the revenue share. Now back to the stock for one second. In, in March of 2020, before COVID, we were trading at $6 a share, right? I think Tom and I would have sold every single share that we had just out of basic panic that the world as we know it has changed and we should really fatten up our savings account. Thank God we were in a vesting period because it went from $7 to $165 in that three years when COVID started to now. <laughs> right? So, I mean, like two years, essentially, right? So it is an unbelievable, um, uh, uh, real controlling uh, uh, 
wealth building mechanism to have that vested period in there. It keeps you from making rash decisions. So it's 80-20 for every single EXP agent that comes over here. How insane is that? There's no backroom deals, no handshakes, no favorite agents getting all the cheese. Everybody comes over in at 80-20. When your 20% equates to $16,000 paid in, then consider that like a deductible. If you're not familiar with the cap, that means that you're paying endlessly, right? But EXP says, listen, we'll never take more than 16 grand off you. And then at that point, you go to 100% commission until your anniversary year hits again. Now, if you're a team leader, you have three different types of teams at EXP. One's called a self-organized team where you co-brand and you um, um, are at the helm of that team. The second is a standard team where you can bring your agents over at an $8,000 cap if you fit the criteria. So your agents come over at a half a cap. So most real estate agents aren't great at math, but we can times anything by three, right? So if you do $2.66 million at 3%, that's about where you go to 100% commission, okay? So imagine if your, your agents on your team are at a half a cap. At about $1.4 million, $1.3 million of business, they go to uh, uh, the graduate and get rid of EXP out of their commission, right? Pretty cool. Now, if you're a mega team, which means that you have at least 10 agents and you're doing at least $40 million of business, you can bring your agents over at a $4,000 cap. And that applies to everybody. There's no, there's no again, no like unique deals. Uh, you either hit the criteria or you grow into it. No problem. Okay. So once you're at 100% commission, and only when you're at 100% commission, EXP implements a $250 transaction fee. And that $250 a transaction fee happens 20 times. And again, a transaction as defined by Tom is a sale, a lease, or a referral. Okay, so it's not as um, limited as you might uh, initiate. It's not just a commission on a sale, okay? That $250 transaction fee, once that happens 20 times, that means that you've paid in $5,000, right? Because 250 times 20 is $5,000. On the 20th transaction, EXP considers you an icon agent and gifts you the $16,000 back in stock. You have to meet cultural requirements. You have to attend our shareholders meeting, which is in June, and then our convention, which is in November, to get all of it. But right off the bat, you get 8,000 right away. Then if you teach in the world, you get 4,000. And then if you attend each event, you get 2,000 per event. So you can get all $16,000 back in stock. What also happens, which is a beautiful uh, 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 thing that comes from that, is that all of our teachers giving the 50 to 100 hours a week are icon agents. So you're learning from the top 1% in the nation no hobbyists here teaching you guys stuff. So when you're hearing about people teach you how social media and video and Facebook and TikTok are the way to grow your business for some of you, you're hearing from people that are actually implementing it at the highest level, okay? Once you hit an icon award and you pay in your 20th $250 transaction fee, it then reduces the $75 per transaction in perpetuity. So you'll be at 100% no transaction fees. Uh, uh, I mean, you'll be at 80% no transaction fees. Once you hit 100%, then you get a $250 transaction fee that happens 20 times. If you hit the 20th transaction and you're really, really crushing it, then at that point, you get the $16,000 back and your $250 drops to $75. If you're on a mega team where you have a quarter cap, you're always at $75, okay? So we can inform you more about that. I'm just trying to give you an overview. Now, to start up, it's $149. You get access to the healthcare. You get access to the workplace. You get access to all 2,000 agents, the EXP virtual campus. You get access to KV Core. You get access to SkySlope. You have your, your, all your state brokers. You have your sponsor. You have all your state meetings. You have all the marketing materials. You have the commission splits. You have the team ability. You can grow your revenue share. You can do whatever you want. It's $150, $149 to start up. You also get 1,000 business cards and 10 listing folders from EXP. I don't know if I have any on me. They look like, uh, well, they look like this, okay? So um, we have an $85 a month brokerage fee that happens whether you're selling real estate or not. So it's 85 bucks a month to ha have, uh, that's continual. Everything else is transactionally based. The reason why we have that, we used to have a 400 and, what was it, a $420 uh, one-time fee but we really want people that are actually selling real estate. So um, that's a very important thing for EXP uh, is to make sure that we have agents that are selling real estate. You don't have to have a requirement. You don't have to sell real estate here, but most of the time, if you're not selling real estate, you're not gonna pay 85 bucks a month. We have a $25 broker review fee on every transaction that you do. 
and then we have a forty dollar E and O uh, insurance uh, uh, fee on every transaction, but that caps at five hundred dollars. So when you're twelve and a half deals into your anniversary year, that goes away until your anniversary year recycles again. Okay, so that is the entire financial makeup of working at EXP. It's not a forty-five page ICA uh, on commission structures. Let me tell you another thing: if you leave EXP. Right. If you leave EXP, we don't go after 50 percent of your commissions and try to hold, hold you hostage and make you sign non-competes and all the other trauma that happens. All you do is if you're at 100 percent commission, we'll pay you your remaining deals at 100 percent commission. If you're at 80, we'll pay you the rest of them at 80. It just depends on where you're at in your cap when you leave EXP if you choose to do that. Right. So that is the basic overall sense of it. Um, again, numbers matter. This is a dated chart. T3 happens on May 2nd of this year. You're going to watch all of our numbers change again. But we are the number one independent brokerage in the country. Uh, we are the number one top mover. I'm giving you real numbers, not just the slide. We are number three in sales volume, number three in closed transactions. Um, we are uh, agent increase. We're always number one. Transaction sides, uh, again, we're number three. Sales volume, I think, four. Agent out, number four. So this company is just growing and growing every year based on who you decide you want to invite here. So that is an overall 30, 40, 50 minute. We went long. That's a 50 minute long breath of maybe 50% of what EXP offers. We're just trying to cover it all together. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to go to the person who invited you on this call and dig, find out what other information applies to you and we can answer any questions in the next 10 minutes that you guys have if you feel uh, spunky enough to do it in front of a live audience. So I'll give you guys a second. If anybody has a question or wants me to go back on something, I can slow it down and make sure that we cover it because you're probably not alone in the question. <laughs> 